Hello and welcome. This is Rufal Monger. And my friends, here we are again talking Street Fighter 6 and talking guest characters in Street Fighter 6. It's no mystery. Terry Bogard and my Shiranui of King of Fighters and Fatal Fury fame got announced as playable characters, DLC characters for Season 2 of Street Fighter 6, and it was sort of a big deal. And, well, guest characters, frankly, are always kind of a big deal, but doubly so in Street Fighter, where, I don't know, Street Fighter always seemed more quote-unquote pure, right? Didn't have the need for guest characters, and yet, here we are, and turns out, it was definitely the right decision, as uh, they've been making some waves. So, why are we here in today's video? Well, specifically, the outlet VG247 did an interview with the game directors of Street Fighter VI, that being Takayuki Nakayama and Shuhei Matsumoto, and, among other things, they spoke about guest characters in Street Fighter VI, you know, their thought processes, their ideas, and also maybe what could be coming for the future. Uh, the way they're making it sound, uh, Terry and Mai may not be the last guests. So I'll have the full interview linked for you in the video description if you want to read everything there. And I'm just going to be paraphrasing some of the questions and answers and just going over what they were discussing as far as guest characters go. And first off, I guess the really big question is, why guest characters now after all this time? And uh, the shorter form answer Matsumoto gave was, because we can. Which is an answer I'm a big fan of, actually. But to expound further right after that, saying, this is the right time to get people interested not just in Street Fighter, but in fighting games in general. Matsumoto also adding to it, basically, it's not just about Street Fighter 6. This is the time to get just people interested in fighting games in general. Time to reinvigorate the genre and just spread the love of all the various games in the genre. Trying to make the fighting game community as large as possible, and they felt this is one of the ways they could best do exactly that. Next up, VG247 asks, you know, well, what about more classic Street Fighter characters? Does guess not mean that for every guess there's one less classic Street Fighter character evoking names like T-Hawk, which, hey, big T-Hawk fan myself. I get it, I get the argument, uh, you know, as someone very deep in the NRS community as well, uh, this is the argument I've seen a million times over, over the years. Oh, well, because Predator or Jason was in the game, that means that's the reason I didn't get Jade. Oh, because we have Terminator, that's the reason why I don't have Smoke. Omni-Man and Homelander are the reasons why I don't have my precious Dairo and Hotaru. And I do want to talk more about that after this uh, Q&A session here, but uh, the answer is the Street Fighter devs gave. Speaking on that, they recognize when there is guest characters, that does mean there's less chance for other classic Street Fighter characters, right? So since there's Terry, there probably won't be Remy. A nation weeps. But sitting, there is a whole selection process, right? They're not just putting in the characters they personally like. Everything has to make sense, even with the guests. There's a reason why they pick who they pick. And this is just me adding, but like realistically, you can't add everyone every time. That's just not how that works. Next up, VG247 asks, well, isn't this just basically just a giant can of worms? Because now that you've opened the gates, as it were, right? Now we have Terry, now we have Mai. Isn't everyone kind of game, right? And they specifically say Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. And Nakayama states, this is not a bad thing. This is a very welcome problem to have. You know, stating, what about Sub-Zero? Uh, there are probably a lot of Street Fighter players that don't know much about Mortal Kombat. So if our goal, which we just said, is to get more people just interested in fighting games in general, and guest characters are what get people talking about the game, or no, well, games, really, not a bad thing. Further saying that just because you ask the question, this means people are interested. They want the fighting community as a whole to reach a new audience, and they see all this as a very positive thing, and they encourage that kind of discussion and comments. So this is the game director of Street Fighter VI saying, yo, no, actually, bring us all the guest character ideas you got. Uh, very much looks like Terry and Mai aren't going to be the stock. Come season three, four, five, six, beyond, uh, we're probably going to see more characters. Although in the context of everything we've been talking about, uh, just kind of sharing the love with the FGC, it does look like Street Fighter will be sticking to fighting game specific guest characters. So Kratos, I don't, maybe Street Fighter 7, not just yet. But hey, specifically Sub-Zero, uh, as an older person, right? Uh, I've been thinking about Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat for a long, long time. And if Sub-Zero could get in, that'd be pretty sick. And now, keeping on the whole guest character talk train here, VG247 asks, you know, what about World Tour? 
as the channel has covered, lots of things go down in World Tour over the various DLCs. Lots of lore tidbits, lots of hints, like there's just a lot of stuff every time a new DLC character gets added. And I guess the quick answer you could say Nakayama gives is, hey, shut up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, they're not talking about that right now. Saying basically, hey, M. Bison just came out, F focus on that, worry about that for now. But adding, you know, hey, we hope you're very interested and excited to look forward to whatever my and Terry might add for World Tour. And of course, that'll be very interesting unless they just want to act like Tekken 7 Akuma and just say, oh, they were here all along. And then, of course, you got to worry about what Tekken 8 did, where Tekken 8's like, what? Who? Akuma? Even though he was explicitly canon in Tekken 7, we're going to act like he didn't exist in Tekken 8. So doing that route's probably not the best way to do it for, like, you know, just terms of legacy anyways. So whatever they're going to do, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be interested. Do they just pop out of a portal or what? I don't know. Hopefully they make it work. Now, I just want to add my own two cents here about the whole guest character thing, because well, it's not rare in fighting games at all, really. But it is rare for Street Fighter and, you know, Street Fighter being more austere, you know, more castle on the mound, all that kind of stuff, right? It's more of a bit of a culture shock. So I just want to say for my own two cents that I think this is absolutely a great thing to do. Because I'm already seeing it happening, right? It's the same Mortal Kombat arguments year after year after year. Just this time, it's Street Fighter flavored. You know, people look at the guests like, oh, I don't want Terry. I wish it was Makoto. I don't want Mai. I wish it was Sea Viper. Like, hey, I get it, right? Like, I want Hakan. I've been very public about that, but I'm being realistic. Am I ever going to get Hakan? Probably not. But the devs are absolutely right. Guests generate interest in a way no normal character ever will. When Terry and Mai got announced, people went nuts. It's not like Terry or Mai are rare characters. They've been in a billion zillion games combined, right? They're not hard to find characters. But them showing up where they're not supposed to be, that's what generates a lot of interest. If it was Makoto, if it was Sea Viper, no one would be talking about this the same way. Rest assured, Terry and Mai are selling this season of DLC. Bison, I like Bison. Not so much. Elena, definitely not. And say season three, say Sub-Zero actually is one of the characters as a guest character, that would break the internet. There's no amount of, oh, I wish Sean was in over Sub-Zero that's ever going to actually play. There's no amount of, oh man, I wish Necro was playable over Scorpion. Like, it just doesn't work that way. Plus, like, realistically, NRS has proven time and again, the guests sell the most, and by a lot. Like, you can't disregard, there's certainly a financial factor to this as well. Is Terry and Mai being here like a great fighting game loving? Yes. Will it help build awareness for the upcoming City of the Wolves? Yes. Will they sell more DLC copies, season passes than just about anyone else? Yes. So that's why I like the whole guest character idea anyways, because kind of everyone wins. You generate more interest, you generate more eyeballs on the product, and as a company, for the most part, you generally make more money. So if this is the route they want to go, they really want to go full fighting game love in, right? I would actually love that. So this season is the KOF Fatal Fury season. Season three could be the Mortal Kombat season. You add two MK characters, then you add two more Street Fighter characters. Season four, you add, hey, Hachi. Season five, you add Saul Bad Guy. I don't know, right? But if you want to go in full this fighting game love in, I think it makes perfect sense. And it works great for the franchise and the newly like kind of ascendant fighting game community again. Fighting games are back in a big way that they haven't been for a very long time, and this is a great way to just kind of show the dominance of the genre. That's just me, though. I'm always pro-guest character. I have been throughout many games over the years, and I am here for Street Fighter VI as well. Feel free to disagree. Those are just my thoughts. Once again, the interview, if you want to check the interview in full, it's in the video description. There's a bunch more questions than just what I covered in the video. I just want to cover the guest character aspect of it. And, well, other than that, that is the video. Looking forward to seeing how Season 2 slash Year 2 of Street Fighter 6 will take shape. And just looking forward to the bright future of fighting games in general, because the future is very bright. That all said, though, that is the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Street Fighter.